Some big news uh, from our parent company took place over the weekend. NBC Universal CEO Jeff Schell announcing that he is leaving the company after an investigation into inappropriate conduct. In a statement, Schell said he had an inappropriate relationship with a woman inside the company. And joining us right now on a story that has uh, made waves from New York to Hollywood. Uh, and what is next for NBC Universal? Matt Bellany, Puck founding partner. I know you were up late uh, writing uh, today's newsletter. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, we've all uh, were shocked by this news. Uh, we all know uh, Jeff very, very well. Um, and I think we're all trying to understand what you think uh, the impact will be uh, on NBC Universal going forward. Well, I think it's early, but the company went immediately and appointed Mark Cavanaugh, who is a Comcast loyal executive, president of Comcast, who will be running the NBC Universal assets for now. So all the direct reports to Shell will now go to Kavanaugh. Um, we'll see how long that lasts. I think it'll really signal the future of the company, what they choose to do here, whether they elevate someone internally, perhaps someone like Cesar Conde, who runs the news, news division, um, Mark Lazarus, who runs uh, streaming and television, or perhaps Donna Langley, who runs the film department to oversee the company, or whether they look outside the company for someone else to come in and run it because there's speculation about the future of the entire NBC Universal asset. My sense is there's a possibility that, that effectively the role might never be replaced. Is that possible? It is possible. I mean, as you know, the, the Roberts family that, that controls Comcast, they have their loyal people. They like to keep it very close to the best. And someone like Kavanaugh is someone that they feel that they can trust and put into this role. He's more of a financial person rather than an operations guy like Shell was. Shell came up through television and had experience running the film division. And then he was groomed and put into that role when Steve Burke left the company in 2020. Um, so it's a different kind of a, a approach here. Uh, but perhaps they just do that and don't replace him. Um, perhaps they do, or perhaps this company does a transaction where it might merge with a Warner Brothers Discovery or a Paramount Global or something like that, and then the leadership of those right. companies. But you don't think, it. I mean, this isn't a setup for, the, for that. I mean, this isn't a, an aqua, aqua hire situation where you, you're, at this point, merging with another company to, to capture a CEO. No, 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 I don't think so. I mean, and obviously, this was not a planned situation. They did not know this was happening until recently. Um, but I'm just looking down the line at where the company is. And, you know, there was speculation last year that the company did explore merging NBC Universal with Electronic Arts. And in that scenario, they would have a, another person besides Shell atop the, the combined assets. So if they're looking in that direction and something to do with the NBC Universal asset, perhaps down the road, a merger, a transaction of some sorts with the leadership coming in could be an option. How does this impact uh, the streaming wars and a potential deal with Hulu? I think Jeff Schell was somewhat well known for, for thinking about Hulu. I think he's talked about Hulu publicly. Um, do you think that changes the dynamic? I mean, in terms of his influence, either wanting it or not wanting it relative to others? That's a good question. I'm not sure it changes the overall company strategy much. I mean, this is a company, Peacock obviously has made great strides over the past couple of years, but it is still much smaller than some of its rivals at about 20 million subscribers. It's about less than a tenth of Netflix. And something to bulk up Peacock in the future, I think the company would really be interested in at the right price. That's the whole question on Hulu, because as we know, Disney owns the majority of Hulu, and there is this option to, to buy the rest coming up. But that's an asset that it's uh, going to be about $27 billion in, in uh, the value of Hulu. So it's not a, a, an easy transaction to bulk up in streaming. And I, I'm not sure that, uh, that they know exactly what's going to happen there. 